Well, it's that time again. We got my big stand mixer out. And uh, we got a whole bunch of mush in there, a few wags and stuff. We got the watt meter hooked up there and <coughs> fuel. And uh, we are making the cookies now. Right there? Right there. Ah. Butter. butter. More butter, please. <laughs> <laughs> that looks fine. No, I, I don't know if it's soft enough to add. Yeah, that seems fine. So we're going to keep adding ingredients and we'll come back. All right, so we're ready to start mixing here, and uh, this is a double batch. Now, this is the kind of recipe that you'll break a spoon on a single batch, you know, wooden spoon variety. And uh, so now this is a double batch, but we got this honking, uh, you know, AC universal motor in there, and it's all metal gears and kinds of gear lube and all kinds of great stuff and the watt meter. This thing was chugging 120 watts on high with no load but you gotta start this off slow so let's just see what's gonna happen here. That's as slow as she goes. It's good. Look at that fucker go. 200, 300 watts. See, now we gotta squish everything down and it's falling out the sides and that. And this is only part of it, then we gotta add more stuff, so we're just incorporating and we'll come back. So this is the lowest speed and it's pulling 200 something watts to mix this stuff around. And she's going. It's starting to look good. Only a marginal increase. And that's looking good, so okay, cool deal. Alright, now that we have the floral in there, we're gonna, you know, kind of incorporate it in. Well, we're doing alright. Whoops. Gotta push it down and play games with it. That was pulling about 470 watts now, so I am. All right, round two. Oh, I'm gonna wait again. Shove this stuff down because it's so thick that it just, you know. I think it's pretty much appropriate. Can I just yeah. put the razors in, or? I uh, just flip it one more time, then we'll put that in. See how thick that is there? Well, it'll get all moist in the oven because of all the butter. Uh huh. So that's the secret. More butter. Look at that thing. Five, four hundred, five hundred watts. We're good, we're good. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Coming around, coming around, coming around, coming around. That's it. Alright, so now we're going to put the raisins in. So that way it can be uh, raisin oatmeal instead of just, uh, you know, oatmeal, oatmeal. So. Yeah, 500 something watts and it's all coming up out of there and you got to mush it down because it's like just big enough to handle it. Oh my, raisins. Take raisins, damn it, raisins. Ah, so I'm on the drink. And uh, she's on the cookies there. You know, so we got that roll in there. Yeah, I think it's it's good for another quick whip. And then you know you know what it is. It's clean up a breeze after that. Just put the whole thing right in your dishwasher. So, yeah, the, the wonders of uh, KitchenAid. So, Jay, if you got this big fancy uh, schmancy stand mixer there, what are you playing with a spoon? Well, it's part of the game. Nobody ever said that you can't use one. And it does help, because, you know, that'll mix anything up. I mean, you put the little whip guy on there, you know, the little whisk thing, this thing here. It's like a bird cage for like a Tweety Bird kind of thing. <clears throat> that will whip shit together so fast. 
Can you hear the teeth? That's on high. And it's barely doing yeah. it. Yeah. That's on high. <laughs> yep. That's, uh, that's about as much as she does. And when it was on low, I don't know if you could hear on the video, but it was just struggling. And the, the, you, can, you can hear the, the brushes on the commutator just sparking themselves to death and, and wearing away because it's like... Yeah. That's how you break spoons. Oh, yeah. And, uh, if this thing struggled, I definitely would have. See? Look how... You know, it just gets all thick like that. And then, you know, we got the oven going here. The oven on. But it's not preheated yet. We're waiting for it. And uh, it's getting toasty. 375. So we're just waiting to deal, and the cat's going to have some. And uh, that's right. See that, Pat? The cat's getting all your cookies. So that's why you don't have any. So I'm just diagnosing a little problem on the Shoutcast server. We'll take care of that in a little bit. But we are going along with the cookies here, you know. And they're coming up. <coughs> they go on the pan layer, you know. And then they go on the cooling rack and it's some dumb ones like that. And that's how you bake a cake. Alright, we'll be back at you later. Yeah, so here we are a little later. And we have finished cookies. More drying, you know, on the little fold-out dryer rack there. And more coming. We still have quite a bit in there, see? There's quite a bit in there. Pulling a whole big zero watts now, you know? And that's the trick. You do the two spoons there, you know, like salad spoons kind of thing. And you pull them out, and they come out in, uh, you know, cookies type thing. And the trick is seven and a half minutes exactly. I don't know why. That's only for my oven. Your oven at home may be different, of course. But I digress. Anyway, <coughs> so that's how you bake a cake, like I said. And we're going to keep cooking on. And, uh, yeah. So are you on the drinks hard? No, just going to keep asking. Do you apologize? No. Yeah. Alright, so we're all done there. Well, got a whole big uh, thing. We've got a little crater in there. Those will fill that up. That's all filled up. And that made a uh, rough guesstimate of uh, 108 cookies or so. And uh, I think we ate about four of them along the way. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I had three, so that made four. Cool. So, like I said, that is how you bake a cake.